Hello and welcome, my beautiful Taurus. Brenda Tarot here with your extended reading for members. Okay, so we start off, of course, with finance and, and the money in your life. Your previous reading here was excellent because I do think there's going to be money coming in. And let's see what we have here for the extended reading. Spirit, what does Taurus need to see and know about finances and money this week? There you go. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Looks good. Okay, so you have the business tools to go after what it is you want. So, you know, working hard towards your goals here, there might be some unexpected, uh, unexpected money coming in. And you've done the work. Okay, you took your time, right? And you planned your moves. And you deserve to, to receive this. I mean, you've got the Midas Touch coming in here, right? So being very careful so i do think that you're going to see some success coming in here this week so you could be winning money but remember we said unexpected money a payoff here for efforts getting recognized we talked about that again you know getting recognized for what you're doing here and moving forward in a positive direction so um there's going to be some advancement for some of you coming in and that's what it's showing here all right. Um, your work is very professional and what you do is very professional and you, you, you do your work here very calculated. You're very careful. You take your time, right? You don't rush in um, and you want that because that's what's going to make you accurate and get level you up to being recognized for what you do and the gifts you have to offer to the business and work uh, and your career. You do have the business tools here because I do see that you needed more money and guess what? You're getting it. So this is great. You're you know, you want to live well. You want to be comfortable. And I do see that happening. Now, some of you may be self-employed. Maybe you're the sole provider. Maybe you're single. And you need to have this money coming in. Now, for others, I see you maybe tapping into a... Um, uh, you know, a, a passive income, maybe you've got a side gig going where you, uh, you're going to make money with a hobby that you have, a skill that you have, uh, and now you can maybe sell that out there, or you may be taking on a part-time secondary job as well. So this is excellent, but I do see you moving forward. I do see uh, things improving. Um, I do see you're going to get recognition, and there could even be an advancement, and this could be also why you're getting this money. And you know, it, it's almost like you're getting recognized and rewarded rewarded for what you do so this is beautiful now let's see what we have here for relationships and or love in your life or partnerships which could be in business or friendship um yeah they're coming out too quick spirit what does taurus need to see know and expect when it comes to uh relationships or love in their life this could be same sex this can be love mate playmate um <clears throat> life mate married single okay um Again, this comes out here. This came out for, um, might have been Aries. Um, healing family issues, okay? Now, they mentioned your parents, uh, which to me is kind of odd. But, you know, sometimes uh, you can get caught up in your head thinking because things didn't work out in a past relationship or in your parents' relationship that it's like you're, 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 you were born in a gene pool of bad luck when it comes to relationships. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not true. Okay, stay positive. This is your life, your journey. You're one fingerprint in time, my beautiful Taurus. So don't be stubborn, you know, move forward. Don't be afraid to go after what it is you want and show these romantic feelings. Be the first to make the move if you have to. Your feelings are real and worth exploring with someone. Okay, so you could be, you know, thinking, oh, you know what, the last time it didn't work or I'm afraid it's going to fail and, you know, I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, trust your intuition, okay? That's what this is all about. Trusting your intuition so that you can go after what you want. There could be a new relationship coming in here. This Knight of Cups could be coming in here to offer you their hand in time, effort, support, and maybe even love. You might feel a little overwhelmed because sometimes this Knight comes in and he sweeps you off your feet. Literally, you could be falling madly in love. Don't be afraid of that. Don't sabotage this relationship or a relationship because you're thinking it's not going to work out. Now, often when we're in relationships or we've had trauma in a in our in our family life uh or even friendships we start to think it's going to be a pattern right we have to break that pattern so break that pattern and keep moving forward trust your intuition if it doesn't feel good then don't go there but nine out of ten times if you release this residual energy you're carrying that you don't need to carry you're going to be able to see you're free to open up and that's what's going to bring you your happiness and peace here okay in a relationship 
So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You don't have to rush in. Okay, you can take your time when it comes to a relationship. You don't have to push yourself too hard. Okay. All right. And let go of the previous feelings. Okay. Don't hold on to those. Don't harbor those feelings and hang on to them because you can sabotage a new relationship by carrying that residual energy with you. You have to heal past that. Okay. Now, what do you need to, what's the outcome here? What do you, what are the changes you need to be made aware of? Um, thank you, spirit. Messages. Wow. They're flying out. Here we go. We're going to take them. Okay. So, um, Surrender your attachments to results. So the formula for success is to do all you can do to make something happen, right? Then you got to let go of those results. So don't obsess and constantly go over in your head. I want, I want, I need, I need, please, please, please. Okay, because you're going to drive yourself nuts. All right. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it because you're not focusing on every day what you need to focus on. And that's joy, enjoying the moment of anything in your life at this time, okay? Because you've got good things coming into you here. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it and indulge in random acts of smiling. So we don't have to walk around and look like a clown and, you know, be, be silly and smiling at every little single thing or laugh at stupid things. But we need to show that we are in the moment and we're enjoying every breath we're taking, making that, making every breath count, right? So during both the hard and the easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. Realize that the hard times have taught us lessons and we're healing through them or we have healed through them and we can move on now. Okay, so don't sabotage yourself and shoot your foot off uh, by allowing yourself to keep going over and over and over any negative issues in your life that ha that could be haunting you we have to let them go okay even if it's letting them go with forgiveness we don't have to condone that energy or allow it in our life again but we need to free ourselves to move forward let's see what we have here for your focus what does taurus need to really focus on here for this week thank you spirit Learn from your mistakes, okay? So over-obsessing, okay? Worrying that things aren't going to work out, right? Um, not being positive. Holding on to things that we really need to let go of. Whoops, right? That's what's important here. So don't hold on to things too tightly, okay? Because And keep your eyes open to new beginnings, to living in the in the in the in the moment but with anticipation and promise that our future is going to be better staying positive because you can have it all you've got that Midas touch card here that says what you're working on you can go after and believe in those stores of opportunity if you keep your eyes open don't hold on to the past and learn from those mistakes beautiful well my beautiful beautiful taurus this is your extended reading for this week and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week to look forward to and always know i stand in this circle of love and light for you and i'll see you soon